CNN reporter Donnie O'Sullivan attended a Trump rally. Yes, you heard that correctly. I said a Trump rally. They're still taking place in 2021 believe it or not. But anyways, he spoke with Trump supporters as he usually does at these types of events. And the rhetoric that they used was, I mean, it was predictably diluted and silly, but you're going to see that there is this growing sentiment within, you know, Trump communities and Q communities where they are more open about their predisposition towards authoritarianism. They genuinely believe that Donald Trump won. And as time goes on, they believe that that makes it more justifiable that the military steps in and actually reinstalls Donald Trump as president. He did rally since he lost. Mm -hmm. uh, he didn't lose. He didn't lose. I know he didn't lose. Your shirt here says Trump won. Yes, he did. Is, it, is this about 2016? It's about all of them and 2020 and the next one. But he lost in 2020, right? No, no. Do you think what happened on the 6th of January was a sort of stain on his presidency? This was all staged. I, I truly believe that. Conspiracy theories about the election and the insurrection are par for the course at Trump rallies. Yeah. But now, another false notion is circulating among some Trump supporters that Trump could be reinstated as president later this summer. What are you hoping to hear from Trump today? I hope to hear he's coming back. Yeah coming back in 2024? Sooner. He's coming back soon, and you guys are going down. <laughs> Trump has been falsely suggesting that the sham Republican audit in Arizona could lead to the election being overturned. Stay tuned for Arizona. We need two states. It's going to be a very interesting time. How do you govern when you lost? How do you govern when you lost? You think the election is going to be overturned in some way? Oh, absolutely. There's no cuts. The military already knows it was a fraud. He won by over 80 percent. Ron, you genuinely believe that he's going to... He's coming back. That he could come back as soon as... Before, before the middle of August. And what if that doesn't happen? Huh? What if that doesn't happen? We're going to be in a civil war because the militia will be taken over. Among Trump supporters at his rally in Ohio Saturday... Do you have a second to chat to us? We always want to talk to a Proud Boy. No. <laughs> a man wearing a Proud Boys t-shirt and a self-described member of the Three Percenters Militia Group. Some people believed to be associated with the group were charged for their alleged involvement in the insurrection. Do you think though what happened on the 6th of January was a bit of a stain on his, all the violence, a bit of a stain on his presidency or? No, I don't. I don't think so. I, w I was there. Were you up at the Capitol? Yeah, we was there. Yeah? Yeah. Didn't go in, didn't do none of that stuff. I don't believe in tearing up the cap. And you're a, you're a tree presenter? Yes. Some of your guys have been caught up in a conspiracy, right? Uh, charged by the FBI? As far as I know, there, some of them are being held, and a lot of them are just being questioned. Do you think your guys who went inside shouldn't have gone inside, or what? Yeah, I don't think anybody should have went inside, but, you know, when you're worked up in that moment, and, you know, the adrenaline's pumping, I mean, it's just just happens. Are you worried that we could see more violence? Yeah. I honestly believe it's coming. Okay. I don't like a lot of CNN reporters. I think that they're hacks. But what CNN does to Donnie O'Sullivan is so unfair. I mean, maybe he likes this in some way, but I think that if he were to apply for disability, um, citing brain damage is the reason why he's unable to work the government would be obligated to grant him that request because i mean the people who he talks to i mean this is demoralizing at this point i think i've probably covered every single one of the rallies that donnie o'sullivan has went to and he he doesn't necessarily insert his own like opinion he, he fact checks people but he just kind of gets them to say what they want to say and it's just it's deeply depressing to see so many people say things that are laughably wrong and i mean everyone who we talked to believed that donald trump won so at that point that's not even controversial within trump circles and q circles but now they're taking it a step further and they're explicitly calling for authoritarianism for a military coup and violence and that's really really bad i shouldn't have to explain why this is bad so that last guy there the three percenter when asked if he thinks there's going to be more violence he said um yeah I honestly believe it's coming. Okay. Why do you believe it's coming? Who's going to carry out said violence? Are we going to see more insurrection style events? Do we uh, have to expect like a military coup of some sorts? Like, why do you say that? 
why do Trump supporters who believe the election was stolen from him think that there's going to be violence? Like, do you do you understand why what he's saying there is is so worrisome? On top of that, there was the other guy um, who said that he thinks the election is going to be overturned, saying the military already knows it was a fraud. Trump won by over 80 percent. Uh, and if Trump doesn't come back before the middle of August, that we're going to be in a civil war because the militia will be taking over. Now, the subtext there is that that individual wants there to be a civil war if this means that Trump would be installed as president. Now, am I absolutely butthurt about the loss of Bernie Sanders in 2020? Absolutely. Still bugs me to this day. I donated so much money, tried to do everything in my power to elect Bernie Sanders, but we lost. Would I feel better if the military decided, you know, you know what, Bernie Sanders is the rightful president, let's install him. No, because democracies don't work that way. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And as a result of their loss that they refuse to accept, now they are actually yearning for and calling for a military coup. And that just really speaks to how extreme the modern GOP is. And it's not like the base is only full of crazies. I mean, at the highest levels of government in Congress, we have individuals who are part of these communities, part of QAnon, who tweeted out the location of Nancy Pelosi during the insurrection. We can only guess why Lauren Boebert did this. We have individuals like Marjorie Greene also perpetuating this lie about the 2020 election and calling for her political opponents to be imprisoned simply because they're her political opponents and she disagrees with them. I mean, people have to understand that this isn't just a small issue with a bunch of kooks at a rally saying really silly things. This kind of sentiment is widespread and far-reaching. He's coming back soon and you guys are going down. I mean, what does that mean? When people are so deluded that they think that a military coup would be a good thing and implied that it's going to happen and would be good, I mean, what does that mean? You're, you're telling CNN you guys are going down. Does that mean that your ratings are going to tank? Or does that mean, you know, since I already support a military coup, I also support Donald Trump shutting down the media? It's just, at this point, how do we bring these people back to reality? I genuinely don't know. I mean, if you remove Trump from the situation and he says, look, I'm out of politics forever. I'm never running again. It's not like all these people suddenly are going to become de-radicalized like that because a vacuum will be created and some other kooky person, perhaps worse than Donald Trump, is going to fill that void. So the question is, is it possible to put the cat back in the bag? Is it possible to believe in democracy again? after they've become so radicalized, after they have absolutely no faith in American electoral institutions. And there are reasons why people should be disappointed in our institutions, in our electoral institutions. I think that they are absolutely biased in favor of the two-party duopoly. I want to see electoral reform so we can get multiple parties in power. I mean, there are a number of reasons to be dissatisfied with our system. I mean, the electoral college is one of them. But that doesn't mean that you check out and you say, now I support a coup. You always fight to further consolidate democracy, fight to make the system even more fair. But that's not what these people are doing. And so this culture of uh, you know pro-democracy and support for democracy and supporting the outcome of elections, even if the person who you want to win loses, that's going away quickly. In the span of a year, it's diminished, something that America has taken centuries to cultivate. So how do we move forward? That's a genuine question that I don't have the answer to, but right now, just seeing this, it's, it's soul crushing. Tremendous, 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 tremendous